Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to get buttons like this, what you see on my Yuko's website. And these are working buttons, not just pictures with text behind them. But um, what we're, how we're going to do this is we're going to copy the settings here. We could make this a little bigger, so we could make it about 50. So um, have these settings and just click OK. And now you can see our blank button. What we're going to do now is we're going to click our rectangle tool and we're going to highlight it right over our transparent rectangle. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick a style or you could just import a picture and do it like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Chrome styles, pick this text, home, make it a little bigger. even it out, add a filter, and add a vector mask. Okay, now we have a pretty sick looking button. What we're going to do is we're going to save as, and we're going to save it wherever make sure we know where we're saving it because we're going to use this on our Yuko site so button two. because I've already done this I'm gonna save it as two and we're gonna go on to our Yuko site and log in as the administrator da, da, da. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into page editor, file manager. You can also use an FTP client like Qt FPT. That works pretty well. I've used that before for all these other ones when I'm updating my um, 404 and I found. But um, let's see, home button, PNG, delete. Okay. Now browse for your file that you just created. So I'm looking around for my button. There it is upload file and that file has been uploaded now we're gonna go to design management which is templates and we're gonna click the one that matters for you and you're gonna you're gonna choose from the top bottom first container second container or friends I don't know what friends is but anyways top obviously top bottom left left side which we what you saw on my website and the right side if you go into my website which is the second container you'll see check out my YouTube follow me on Twitter and the statistics who's online what's up and if you're not registered you'll see a login right here so um and this is the first container and this is where I have my little um, website banner leading to back to the home page and you that's my top that's the YouTube oops anyway let's get on with this so I'm gonna use the first container and sometimes you will have problems with the visual HTML editor when you go into it it might just not open like I don't see anything right but it's loading so while it's loading let's go into site pages which is my main screen cancel that but there are easier ways you can actually do this and let me show you the easier way first what am I what I mean by easier is you can do it straight from your website without logging into control panel see most of you on your site menu which would be right here but I deleted my site menu and I used custom and you'll see an an eye a drop down eye and that is right here well that eye is controlling right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this example from my main page and this is where the front you'll see the front page just not in full detail but you're gonna down you're gonna browse for your file so mine's button home too I'm gonna insert it wait for it to load and there's my snazzy button and we're going to put a hyperlink in it you can put this to your YouTube but since mine says home I'm going to go to my website insert okay scroll down 
save it. Now let's go to the page, see what it looks like. Okay, so um, we just see our button just popped up. We're going to click on Home, and it brought us back to the home. It reloaded the page because we're already on the home page. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you would like me to do more videos, you could come into the Email Me page and send me an email. Yes, I respond to all emails. So um, hit me with an email. This goes straight to my email. You don't have to know it. But um, leave a comment. PM me on YouTube. Make sure you rate this video, guys. Let the whole YouTube community know that you can do this. You can customize your Yuko's website. So uh, leave me a comment. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.